it's autumn it's cold wet and windy and that only means one thing it's time for the slow cooker Now I get several requests on the channel and one common theme is let's have some budget low cost meals. This is due to the cost of living crisis. Luckily enough I've got several of these recipes which I'll be sharing with you all over the coming months. Today to get us rolling I'm going to be sharing with you an easy peasy chicken curry. There's virtually no prep, just launch it all in that slow cooker, go for that leisurely Sunday stroll with the family, return home and it's ready to plate. Assuming that you have some basic store cupboard spices, this weighs in at £1.80 per portion and it easily doubles and freezes really well. And for you Thermomix TM6 fans, if you want to try this recipe, it will work just equally as well using your slow cooker mode. Just cook at 88 degrees Celsius or 190 degrees Fahrenheit for six hours. And very quickly, just before I get started, having a small YouTube channel like mine is all about support. And a lot of that comes from fellow content creators. One being for me is Zadrum down at Maybe Movies. A massive thank you guys for all of your support. I highly recommend that you stop down at their channel and take a look. It's beer, banter, movie reviews and set in a really cosy looking living room. So search Zadrum, stop down at Maybe Movies and show them some love. Cheers guys. Right, as I always say, what are we waiting for? Let's crack on with the recipe. Okay, let's go in with the ingredients here. I have uh, two small chopped onions, just roughly diced. Uh, if you've got one large onion, that'll be fine, but two small ones. Let's, in we go. Like so. Simply one 400 uh, gram tin of chopped tomatoes in. One chicken stock bouillon cube. Just gonna crumble that in. One tablespoon of finely chopped ginger. One generous tablespoon, rather. In we pop. One large bell pepper, uh, roughly chopped. And it goes. Now next is the chicken. Of course you can use chicken breast, but it's just gonna dry out. It has to be fine, really. Um, I'm just gonna dice, uh, chop one of these for you. It's just really important that you don't cut them too small because it'll break up and you're left with tiny, tiny pieces. So pretty much dice like that. And just throw it in, it'll break up during the cooking process. And the same with the rest of so that, 640, 650 grams roughly. Okay, almost there. Just before we add our curry paste, I'm just gonna help these chicken thighs along with a nice bit of um, salt. And a generous twist of black pepper. Lovely. Now next, the next bit is quite important, that is the curry paste. It's really important that you use a paste and not a sauce. So this is a good brand here in the UK. Patax, which is what I use. You can pour whatever curry paste you want in. So four generous tablespoons of curry paste. The last but not least thing to do is I've used the old can with the chopped tomatoes. I've filled it about a third full of just cold water. So we're just going to add that. Now all's left to do is just get stuck in there. Give it a good old mix around. Budget chicken curry, this is fit for a king. Okay, lid on, low mode for six hours. Now don't be tempted to keep pulling your lid off because your slow cooker will lose all its heat. Take it off at around three hours, give this curry a good old stir, pop it back on really quickly. I guess this is the time now where you go and walk your dog, but unfortunately I don't have a dog but I do have a cat, but it really looks like he's not in a mood to go for a walk because he's the laziest cat in the world ever. And here we are, the finished article, and it really does smell so good. And as I've said several times, if only YouTube did smells, because this kitchen smells absolutely amazing. And the next is up to you, it's coriander or cilantro. You'll either love it or hate it. If you love it, feel free to finish off your chicken curry with a couple of tablespoons of fresh chopped coriander or cilantro. 
I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a comment below and say hello. And of course, if you haven't already, do consider clicking that subscribe button.